Jessie V, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are continuing our very creepy crayon series. I can't believe I'm able to keep making videos on different colors, but you guys keep sending me awesome stories, so keep it up. My Instagram DMs are the place to send me things. And by the way, yes, my shirt says fairy because that's what I am. My wings are just hiding right now. You can't see them. They are a secret. And by the way, if you relate to that sentiment, we actually have shirts on our website that say my wings are just hiding right now, and on the back, there's wings. <laughs> We've had these for a while, but they're still like one of my favorite shirts ever. So if you would like one, I will link it down below. But yes, today we are talking about the pink crayon, which I know seems like a very non-threatening color, but trust me, your opinion will change after watching this. Before I get started, I want to give you one last reminder about this new backdrop. This is the Alice and Wonderland backdrop with the flowers that sing and talk. I love it, one of my favorites. And if you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. So my Jesse V channel, turn on your notifications notification bell and then head over to my Instagram page which is also jessiev give that a follow and then DM me your favorite flower emoji that's all you have to do and I'll be announcing the winner in a few weeks okay so without further ado let's get into these very creepy pink crayon stories the first one is called the neighbors this story is about a family that lived in a large house in a beautiful neighborhood and everyone that lived there was friendly and happy and it was only a three minute walk from their daughter's school their daughter's name was Emily and as you can expect from one of these videos, yes, she loved to draw. One day they saw that their longtime neighbors put up a for sale sign and they were really disappointed because they had lived beside them for 10 plus years and they had become quite close. And after they left, a new family of four moved in. It was two older adults with two sons that looked to be in their mid 20s. This family seemed very reserved and they almost never left their house. One time Emily and her parents went over there with a the welcome basket and rang the doorbell, but they didn't open the door and instead they just stared at them through the windows. Could you imagine? After a few weeks, Emily was sitting at the table drawing and her mother walked up to see what she made. She had drawn their four neighbors using a bunch of different crayon colors, but on the far right side of the page, far away from the neighbors that she drew, she drew another person, only she just used the pink crayon. Her mother Mother asked who that pink person was and Emily just shrugged. This went on for a while because Emily loved drawing things from her neighborhood. She loved to people watch as they say. So if she saw the neighbors in the backyard gardening, she would draw them doing that. But there would always be that extra person on the far right side of the page always drawn in pink. One day Emily and her mother woke up to police sirens outside their window and it was the middle of the night and the red and blue lights were shining through their windows. And and when they looked outside, they saw police cars and ambulance in the driveway of their neighbor's house. And the longer they watched, the stranger things got. They saw the entire family walk out of the house in handcuffs. And then they saw a bunch of police officers carrying something out of the house, but they were too far away to see exactly what it was. All they could see was that it was the color pink. And when they watched the news the next morning, Emily's parents were horrified. A body had been found in their neighbor's basement and it had been rolled up in pink bubble wrap. And that's how that one ends. So yeah, Emily knew something that the rest of the world didn't and that is super, super creepy and sad. Obviously just a creepypasta, but still. Then we have a story called The Static Man. Now this was a story that one of my subscribers sent me through my Instagram DMs. She gave me permission to tell it. Her name is Sophie and she said that when her and her little brother were little, they saw an entity in their TV that they called The Static Man. It all started one night when they had fallen asleep watching The Lion King and were suddenly jolted awake by the sound of static on their TV. The screen was full of black and white dots and it was so loud that they were afraid their parents were gonna come downstairs and yell at them. Sophie was scrambling around the room trying to find the remote when her brother suddenly screamed and told her to look at the screen. Amongst the static, there was this man's face. His skin was a hot pink color and from his nose downward, it was like his face was unnaturally stretched and he was fading in and out with the static 
and his mouth was moving open and closed as if he was speaking, but they couldn't really hear what he was saying. So they screamed for their parents, their father ran downstairs, turned off the TV, and they told him what happened, but he just laughed and said it was probably a TV channel they were seeing that was just in poor connection. So the video must have just been mixed with static, so it looked creepy, but it really wasn't. Apparently the next day at school, Sophie's brother drew the static man in art class, and it was so disturbing to the other kids that his teacher had to call his parents after school. And for the next few months, they didn't see the static man. But when summer came around and they were having a sleepover with their friends, about eight kids in the living room woke up in the middle of the night from the loud static once again, and there he was on the screen, the pink static man. And all eight kids saw him, and their parents never questioned them about it again. And that is how that one ends. That is so creepy. I feel like if I saw that as a kid, I would like never have a sleepover again or never fall asleep in front of my television again. That is just terrifying. Okay, and then lastly, we have a story called The Pink Monster. Now, this one doesn't have to do with a crayon itself, but because the monster was pink, I thought I would include it at the end of today's video. This story is about a girl who had a lot of issues sleeping through the night. When she was really young, her parents would always wake up in the middle of the night from hearing her screaming and crying. She was complaining about seeing some kind of monster outside her window in the back yard and their first thought was that she was having some sort of nightmare so to make her feel better they would let the family dog out into the yard which would chase away whatever was out there that was scaring her and these sightings were a reoccurring thing and it haunted her for years as she grew up but she would always feel better once her parents let the dog out now she stopped seeing this strange creature as soon as her brother was born because her old room was given to him and she moved into a bedroom upstairs as she got older she began to recall the creature that she used to see. She remembered it as this fuzzy pink being and as cute as it was, the moment it opened its mouth, she would think otherwise because of the thousands of razor sharp teeth that it had. But it never did anything more but stand and stare outside her window. So she was so glad to have moved out of her old room so she would never ever have to deal with that again. She figured it was probably just nightmares she used to have or sleep paralysis maybe and something about that room just triggered it. But what was all always so frustrating is that her parents just never had believed her, especially because there was never any evidence of what she saw. But like I said, now living in her new room, she was so happy, so content, just forgot about it. That is, until one night, her brother woke up crying, complaining of a pink fuzzy monster standing outside his window. And yeah, that's how that story ends. It's funny because like, it sounds so cute, like a pink fuzzy monster, but I feel like those teeth, that would not be okay with me. And I don't care how cute the monster is, if something is staring into my bedroom window, I can't deal with that. Anyways though guys, that is the end of today's video. If you want me to continue doing this creepy crayon series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Comment which color you want me to do next and send me Instagram DMs if you have any like experiences with this or any other stories that you want me to tell. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!